How thick can you pour self-leveling concrete? If you're working on a project that involves smoothing out or leveling your floor, you might be wondering how thick you can pour self-leveling concrete. Let's break down the details to help you get it just right. First, it's important to understand that self-leveling concrete, despite its name, isn't entirely self-leveling. It needs some help from tools like a gauge rake or a trowel to spread it evenly. The thickness at which you can pour this concrete varies based on the type of substrate it's being laid on and the specific product you're using. For a bonded construction, where the screed is laid directly onto the substrate, the minimum thickness can be quite thin. A smoothing compound can go down to as little as one millimeters or about one sixteenth of an inch, but typically it's around 10 millimeters or about three eighths of an inch. However, there are products that can go up to 50 millimeters or about two inches, though this might not be the most cost effective option. If you're using a calcium sulfate screed, it can be bonded from a minimum of 50 millimeters or about five eighths of an inch. For unbonded construction, where there's a membrane between the substrate and the screed, the minimum thickness is also around 15 millimeters. When it comes to floating construction, where the screed is laid over insulation, the minimum thickness is slightly higher. For domestic use, it's typically 35 millimeters or about one and three eighths inches. And for commercial use, it's 40 millimeters or about one and five eighths inches. If you're incorporating heating pipes into the screed, the minimum coverage over the pipes needs to be at least 20 meters or about three quarters of an inch, plus the diameter of the pipes. So for a 15 millimeter or 16 millimeter diameter pipe, you'd need a total depth of about 35 to 36 millimeters. In general, self-leveling concrete can be poured as thin as a quarter of an inch to smooth out small imperfections, but it can go up to one and a half inches without adding aggregate. If you add aggregate, it can go as thick as five inches but always follow the manufacturer's guidelines. For multiple layers, the maximum thickness per layer is typically between 1 8 inch and 1 quarter inch with an overall maximum thickness of about 1 half inch when applied in multiple layers. So, to summarize, the thickness of self-leveling concrete can range from very thin for minor smoothing to several inches for more significant leveling, depending on the specific application and the product you're using. Always check the product specifications and follow the manufacturer's instructions to ensure the best results.